So, four months ago, I purchased this Roland VT3 Vocal Transformer. Something I thought would bring up the level of my stream and increase the entertainment factor. You know, everyone on Twitch is always competing with each other to try and have the best quality stream possible. Or at least, they should. While there were many other options to pick from, like the Roland RC550, I really thought the Vocal Transformer would give me more granular control and just create a better aesthetical feel since this was the only purpose this device was made for. No looping, no beats of any kind, just straight vocal transforming. And to mix reactions, we've, well, kind of come to that judgment. But let's take a look and see, as a piece of equipment, how does it work and how good is it? Masterbox 5 is the newest addition to the master lineup of cases from Cooler Master. Offering the same fully customizable freeform system, the Masterbox 5 lets you make your own without breaking the bank. Click in the description to learn more. Starting off with the packaging, as you open up the box, it actually is very bare bones. You get inside the Vocal VT3 Vocal Transformer and a power cable. Apparently Roland is too cheap to include a USB Type B cable. Test test, it costs like 8 cents on eBay. Don't know why they were skimped out on it, but it makes them look very bad. Now, the Roland VT3 vocal transformer is an all-metal body. Going at the back, we see that there is an XLR input, an audio jack output, phantom power, an on-off switch, USB type B cable. So in case you don't want to hook this up to an audio system, you can hook it directly to your computer. And the aforementioned power cable. Going up to the top, you do see that there's two knobs, one for mic volume and one for just regular volume. This is how you're going to dial in to get the perfect vocal sounding effect. And then, of course, moving into the row below that, we see there are a number of buttons. And if you're like me, buttons make you happy, rubber buttons make you happier, and glowing rubber buttons, they're just, they just make the entire day for you. And of course, with the beautiful glowing green aesthetic, it does offer a nice, pleasing visual feel when you're looking down at the unit. But that is the same aesthetical feel they've kept with the entire Aria line. Now, there is the robot voice, which for some reason got its own button. Manual setting, three profile settings, and then the bypass, which really should have been labeled what it is, mute. It is how you mute the vocal effects so that way you get a normal sounding voice and not the robot or bassy or high-pitched 12-year-old that you're currently dialed into. Going below that, you see that there are two sliders on each side. Looking on the right, you see that there is a pitch and a formant slider. And looking on the left, you see that there is an effects and a reverb slider that will also let you have more on-the-fly control than anything else. Moving into the middle, we see that there is a big and glorious knob with tons of profile settings on top of it that will work in conjunction with the level sliders. So at the bottom, we start with direct, moving into auto pitch one, auto pitch two, which just plays with your voice a little bit. Uh, we have the vocoder, the synth, the lead, the bass, megaphone, radio, and scatter. Scatter is a very unique one in the sense that it just randomly distorts your voice at periodic points. So those are very cool. And a nice feature that also is not very well documented, but everything does have a second profile setting. By pressing the manual and holding it, you will actually get a flash that will let you tick up the, the second, second profiles. profiles. So, so there is that. It's, it's kind of a cool thing to have if you want to change other stuff around. But yes, yes you, you can, can do that. that. Now, moving into the actual sounds of it, the main reason you would even have a vocal transform is so you can play with your voice, like I said. So starting with the format and the pitch, if you're going to move the levels all the way down, you see the voice gets much, much deeper, which has a very pleasing, lady-satisfying feel to it. But if you decide to go the other way and just troll your audience... You can always go the much higher pitched route. And, yeah, people will tend to really hate you when you do this. Now, you can, uh, you can actually determine how much of an effect you have by moving the left-hand slider of the, well, effects level to see how much of it's actually going to impact on your voice. As you can see here, it's all the way down to the bottom. It's not so much, but as we move it up to the top, it, it does, does get significantly more apparent, shall we say? And then if you want to be ultra annoying, you can use the reverb 
And while these are the poor words to pick for a musician, these are the absolute correct words to pick if you're a live streamer trolling your audience. So there you guys go, there is that. Now moving into the other profiles, we actually check auto pitch one. Here's auto pitch one. It well has a really auto pitchy sound to it. I really once again I'm not a musician, I'm a live streamer, so you know, forgive me if my words aren't the best. Then we also have auto pitch two. And here's the vocoder, which has a very strange sound. Since you want to get that Daft Punk feel of any of the quality of success, be it or not, I don't know what it said, but it is god awful. The bass, which is also god awful. Megaphone, which, well, it does exactly what it's designed to. It makes you sound like you're coming out of a megaphone. Radio, which if you ever want to get that old-timey radio, you know, ah, the worlds are coming down. That's the voice you want. And then we have and Scatter, where, 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 well, where, 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 Scatter is not one of my scatter favorites, but it is sure is heck better, better than the other better ones. Than better than better. So that is the Vocal Transformer by Roland, the VT3 is an incredible piece of hardware. It costs about $199 American, $299 Canadian, but it is a significantly better option if you wanna just play with your voice with a piece of hardware. While there are softwares that can do this, it's not something I am really all that fond of. I've never been a fan of software. Putting more load on your CPU while you're streaming and doing all your other things is just never a good idea. And even my computer can easily handle it. I still don't want to put that extra load. Something breaks, you have to restart everything. It's just a giant pain. I've always been a hardware kind of guy and it's how I'm always going to be. But I am very satisfied with my purchase of this Roland VT3 for my stream. It's done everything I wanted to. Maybe not to as high a degree as I wanted, but I also had pretty high expectations going in considering my only frame of reference was the Roland or Boss RC 550, which is about double the price of the VT3. So, you know, manage your expectations accordingly. Remember, you always get what you pay for in this world. But overall, Roland did a good job. I'm happy with it. Guys, thanks so much for tuning in. Remember, like, comment, share, and subscribe. If you want to pick up your own VT3, Check the link in the comment down below. I've been Rex. This has been, well, a review of how to annoy your, your viewers on Twitch. And I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.